Hi, Martin Allen here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make equipment-based WoW decks for warriors, death knights, and paladins. This deck works by stacking heavy armor against melee attacks. Damage is done strictly through the hero, not by allies. The ally's only job in this deck is to make sure that they buff the hero's attack and defense, making the hero even more effective. Now, here is something that I invented to show you guys how effective certain decks are as solo decks and as group slash support decks. I gave this deck a 100% performance rating in the solo category because it will be able to fully function and succeed in a 1v1 situation without hindrance. And I gave it also a 100% performance rating in the group slash support category because you can take this deck into any team matches raids, and dungeons, and still expect it to perform its best, without performing any different than it would in a 1v1 situation. Let's say we have a Holy Roller Priest deck that is specced in healing. He probably would get a 0 in the solo category, but would easily get a 100 in the group slash support category because that is where he'll be able to perform his highest. Here are the main weaknesses of this deck. You have abilities that can remove, destroy or steal equipment. Rogues are notorious for this. They have abilities like expose armor, dismantle, and burgle. The other weakness is not having enough armor. You want to make sure that you're able to block every last bit of combat damage that your opponent throws at you. Now for the easy part, choosing your hero. You want to choose a hero that complements your playstyle, whether it's aggressive, defensive, or whether or not you want to be a jerk and give your opponent a headache by some mean abilities that your hero has. Now for the most important part about your deck, the equipment. Now when it comes to armor, you need to have the highest amount of defense as possible. Don't worry about the abilities, just focus on getting as much protection as possible. Since all the damage you're going to be doing is going to be done through your hero, you need to make sure that your attack is as high as possible. Only choose the best weapons in your deck. When it comes to the weapons, make sure to look at the ability. Like the Hand of Ragnaros, it does 7 damage initially, but its ability allows you to do another 7 damage. That's 14 damage a turn. Play cost is very important. You don't want a weapon that you can't afford, unless you build a deck in such a way where you can't afford it. When it comes to the strike cost in this deck, don't go over 5. Anything more than that and you're paying too much. Now when it comes to your allies, you only want to look at the ability. Like Swordsmith Hanzo, who buffs your weapons and debuffs your opponents. And Hoven the Shield, who is an awesome protector. And Death Guard Ashley, who gives your attack a plus 2 and your armor a plus 2. Don't bother with looking at the attack or the health of your allies. You only need to utilize them for their abilities to buff your hero. The only abilities you need in this deck are instant destroy ability cards. This will ensure that no one can deal damage or remove your equipment with ability cards. Each race has their own unique ability card. Like the undead have the ability to heal themselves and the dwarves have the ability to remove effects and increase their armor. Quests are more helpful than you think. Quests like Sunken Treasure that allows you to bring back equipment that's been put in the graveyard can be very helpful. The most important quests in this deck are quests that increase your card draw. You always want to make sure you're getting the equipment that you need to succeed. There are some additional things you could look for. Things like preventing non-combat damage or things making it so your opponent can only attack with one character and also throwing some mend in there would also be a very good idea. The pros of this deck are that it's straightforward so any beginner can pick it up and learn. It's reliant only on the hero, not allies or abilities. So if your fill gets wiped or you lose your abilities, you're still able to do damage and fully function. And it has excellent survivability. So if you build it right, you can prevent all combat damage and all ability damage. The best part about making this kind of deck is that it works very well for 1v1 and you don't need to add any cards when you go to play with the group. It makes an excellent tank and a great support deck. Probably the biggest con is the fact that it's expensive and hard to make. Getting all those cards is very difficult and you might have to go online to buy some of them. The biggest problem 
is if your equipment gets wiped. If your equipment gets wiped, you'll have a hard time killing your opponent or a hard time staying alive. But if you build your deck like my War Axe deck, that won't ever happen. As always, please rate and subscribe and let me know what you think of this tutorial. And if there are any other WoW tutorials you'd like me to make, just let me know.